back to my channel. I'm Lauren if you're new here and welcome back to another Taylor Swift Tuesday video where I bring you all of the Taylor Swift related news and what's been going on in her world for the past week. Taylor Swift has been the topic on a lot of celebrities minds this week and I've got all of the details on what everybody's saying. First I'm gonna cover a really funny interview with Lena Dunham where she tells Andy Cohen her least favorite of Taylor Swift's boyfriends. Scandalous, very scandalous. Next I'll be telling you about what Carly Kloss had to say on their friendship and where they currently stand. Then I'm really excited to show you guys some behind the scenes footage that Joseph Kahn released to us of the filming of the music video Blank Space. It's really really cool. I love seeing footage like this. And there are two Two new Direct TV Now ads that feature Taylor Swift and her cats. They're adorable, you have to see it. And then last but certainly not least, I'm gonna be telling you about all of the hints that Taylor Swift has been supposedly dropping for us about her new and upcoming seventh album. I have a really super exciting show today, but first I wanna say thank you so much to SoCal Buttercup for sponsoring this video. SoCal Buttercup sent me this really cute rustic jewelry organizer for my wall. I am someone who has so much jewelry that I don't even know what to do with it. I always try and organize it, but it always somehow turns into a mess. I'm actually really Really excited about this product because it totally transformed how I organize my jewelry and how I display it. It has hooks on the bottom for my necklaces, a mesh wire for my earrings, a removable bracelet rod, and it has a shelf for other random things that I want to keep track of. It was so simple to install. It comes with the nails, anchors, and mounting instructions, and I was able to hang it up all by myself really easily. It's a really trendy piece, and it goes with my bedroom decor perfectly. And now my jewelry is on display in a much cleaner way where I can actually find things. Guys, this is such a cute piece to add to your bedroom or to give to someone for Christmas or Hanukkah, and they're offering my viewers a special discount. If you guys click the link below and use the coupon code in the description, you will get 20% off of your purchase. I chose this product because I really think that you guys would like it. So let me know if you purchase it, send me your photos. I'd love to see it in your bedroom. Okay, let's get into Taylor Swift Tuesday. So, like I said, Taylor Swift has been on the minds of a lot of celebrities recently. Her political posts urging her fans to register to vote really, really affected our country in a positive way, bringing in thousands of voter registrations in the ages 18 to 25, which is huge. I think it's great that she brought in a lot of disengaged voters who might not have even voted at all this midterm election. So that's been awesome. Make sure you're all registered to vote. And last week, Lena Dunham went on Andy Cohen's show, Watch What Happens Live, and she played his favorite game, Plead the Fifth. The way that the game works is Andy will ask his guests three questions, usually controversial or racy questions, questions that celebrities aren't normally asked, and you are only allowed to plead the fifth to one of those questions. Pleading the fifth is a reference to the Fifth Amendment in the United States, where a witness is allowed to decline answering a question without penalty. So that's where this game gets its name from. So on this particular show, Andy had Lena's former girls co-star ask her a Taylor Swift related question while sitting next to Maggie Gyllenhaal, sister of Jake Gyllenhaal. And <laughs> just watch. Lena Dunham, we have a special question from your pal and former girls co-star, Andrew Rannells. Look right here. <laughs> Lena, who has been your least favorite of Taylor Swift's boyfriends? <laughs> I will point out, of course, that you are seated next to the sister of one of Taylor Swift's former boyfriends, so choose your gentleman carefully. My least favorite of Taylor's boyfriends, and I want to do right by her on this question, and I'm also proud because I haven't pleaded, pled the fifth on any of no, these. you haven't. And I think that makes me some kind of champion. Um, <laughs> my least favorite was... Uh, Calvin Harris because I felt that he was petty in the public and who needs to do that? Ha! What a question. I loved her answer. I also love that she used air quotes around Calvin's name because she probably knew him as his real name, which is Adam Wiles. And I just thought this was a really funny Taylor moment in the news that I thought I'd share with you. I also loved Maggie's like all-knowing look that she gave Lena because over the years reporters have asked Maggie Gyllenhaal about Taylor Swift's scarf and whether or not it's at her house, including Andy Cohen on another episode of Watch What Happens Live. I found that clip. Take a look at it. Is it true that Taylor Swift left her scarf at your house once? Because she, she said in a song, I left your scarf at your sister's place. You know, I never understood why everybody asked me about this scarf. The scarf. What, what is this? <laughs> she said in a song, she was singing in the song all too well about your brother, I left your scarf at your sister's place. Huh. 
Yeah. I, I, I am in the dark about the scarf. Okay. It's totally possible. I don't know. Okay. But everyone, at, I have been asked this you before, have? and I've been like, what are you talking I about? I feel like you need to look for the scarf. It's possible. Yeah. <laughs> Too funny, you guys. Oh my God. We all know the scarf thing from the song All Too Well. And it's like, we never really know if that's just a cute line in a song that she added in there or if there's some truth to that because Maggie has no idea where this scarf is or she just hasn't seen it herself, which, you know, a house can accumulate random clothes over time. That's just like one of this like never ending questions that I don't know if we're ever gonna get the answer to. Hilarious. Next, I wanna talk about Carly Kloss. About five days ago, Miss Kloss sat down with Vogue for their rendition of 73 questions with Carly Kloss. And I think like the fourth or fifth question, the guy asks her about her friendship with Taylor Swift. Now, I just gotta get this out of the way because the world deserves to know. But is everything cool with you and Taylor? The world needs to know. Well, Jen, Jennifer Lawrence was interested. Uh, Jen, don't worry. Taylor and I are still really good friends. Well, that's good to hear. Yay! Although we like already knew that they were still friends, Carly Kloss went to her concert and they've sent each other birthday posts, but it was just nice to hear it from her mouth, wasn't it? And I love that she said that Jennifer Lawrence was wondering too. We were all wondering, girl. The whole world was wondering. So thank you for clearing that up, Carly. P.S. I'm a huge fan of this Vogue segment, 73 Questions. Did you see the one that they did with Taylor Swift? It's a really informal interview and it's always done in one shot, which like can't be easy. It's literally like a guy behind a camera, like following someone in their house in like really funny situations and I really love how it's done. Taylor Swift's interview was done at her house and they ask her questions like, how long did it take you to write all too well, blank space, and a bunch of other random questions that like interviewers wouldn't normally ask. So I'm gonna include the link to that down below if you guys wanna check it out. And then Joseph Kahn gave us some throwback feels and he posted on his Instagram some behind the scenes footage of them shooting the music video for blank space. The background. Also, we'll add the rest of CG, you know? Bam, bam, ah, scream, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> that girl is insane. <laughs> that looks so great. So cool. I love seeing clips like this, especially when we get to see the final product in the music video. I had no idea that her smashing the car was CGI, but like now that I think about it, of course it is because if they have to do a shot more than once, you can't bring in like four different cars and all smash them all in a row. I mean, I guess you could, but that's expensive. I always get really interested in behind the scenes things of how music videos and films come to life. So that was a cool little thing. Thanks Joseph for that. Oh, and by the way, I just love that music video so much. I haven't really seen it in a long time. And when I was writing the script for this music video, I was like, wow, I forgot about this music video. Like I just haven't seen it in a while, which makes me think, what if I did something where I reacted to Taylor Swift's old Old music videos. It's been a minute since I've seen a lot of these videos. Is that something you'd want to see? I could also decode them after the fact. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see me reacting to old music videos and decoding them possibly. I know, I know, I've been really behind on my decoding guys. I've had a lot going on. I'm going to get back into it, I promise. Next up, we have two adorable new ads from Direct TV Now featuring Taylor Swift. They actually called this campaign Direct TV Meow and it's just so cute, I love it. Sound check is in an hour. Is she on the way? Yep. What about the dressing room request? Right here. Okay, salmon, sashimi, sirahi tuna, tuna tartar. That's a lot of raw fish. Call it into Pearson's. They have the freshest. Okay. Wardrobe is prepped. Yeah, ready. Sweet. Well, organic whole milk silk pillow is a personal brusher. Is that like a hairbrush? No, it's a human who brushes hair. Patty is our go-to. Naturally. Don't ever change the channel. Don't even touch the remote. No eye contact. No water of any kind. No loud noises. No mention of dogs. No dog-shaped objects. A diamond-encrusted bowl and one tiny cardboard box to sit in. Be sure to close the door behind you when you go in. And you may want to bring a laser pointer. Is Taylor always this weirdly specific? Those aren't Taylor's requests. Wait, wait then whose list is this? Is, is that a cat? Oh, I'm allergic to cats. Hilarious. And here's another quick one of her cat being so bad. <laughs> Now I'm going to address some things that have been flying around the rumor mill lately that have to do with Taylor Swift's upcoming and really exciting seventh album. Can't even believe those words coming out of my mouth. Like, it's so exciting. We all know that she teased it at the AMAs when she said that she sees albums in her life as chapters in her life and that she's really excited for the next chapter. By doing that, she has now led the entire fandom to relate album hints to books that she's holding or that she's near in photos that have been released recently. Her upcoming campaign with Instax Camera has given us some new photos in the Taylor 
regular world, and the entire fandom thinks that she's dropping hints in these new photos. Now, I'm here to discuss this with you all because I truly cannot decide if these are actual hints or if the fandom's being a little bit dramatic, <laughs> which can happen, but you never know. We've been right before, so let's discuss this together. See photo number one. Now, to a normal person, they would see Taylor Swift sitting in a ripped sweater looking casual, right? Well, to any Swifty in the fandom, apparently this is a huge hint that Taylor Swift's seventh album is coming. To Taylor Swift's left, we see a pile of books. Well, conveniently, there are seven books piled up next to her. So apparently that means that she's referencing her seventh album. Maybe. Maybe. And then someone else on Twitter took it a step further by noticing that the sixth book on the pile is kind of pushed back halfway in the dark and that that could be referencing her reputation album, like the darker side of her reputation. And to that, I was like shocked that someone could see so much in a pile of books. And then the other part of me is impressed because, hey, you never know. Taylor Swift is known to do things like this. Now see photo number two. To a normal person, this just looks like Taylor Swift is holding up a cute pink notebook to her face, right? Wrong. Everyone in the fandom has noticed that she is conveniently holding up seven fingers in this photo. Seven. Seventh album. Now. I actually do believe that this picture she is referencing her seventh album because guys, I've tried it. Like I tested out this theory and like you have to really try hard to do that with your fingers. So in my mind, I think that is a reference that I do agree with. But the pile of books to her in that photo, I'm just not so sure that that's accurate. But again, we have no idea. It might literally be easy enough for Taylor Swift to be on set shooting these photos and for someone to say, hey, how many items do we put in the photo next to her? And for Taylor Swift to just say, seven please. And then for them to be like, okay, we'll do seven because Taylor said seven. So I mean, it could be a thing, but a part of me is like, meh, that might be stretching it a little bit far. I don't know, who knows? But that photo of her in the pink notebook, that's gotta be on purpose, right? What do you think? I really do think that's something that she did. Because I have to like literally physically try to like move my fingers to pose like that. So you never know guys. Let me know what you think. I'm super curious to hear your thoughts. We know that Taylor Swift loves to leave us hints in really cute, coy ways. So tell me what you think. Was this on purpose? Is this an accident? Are we stretching too far because we're all so excited for the next album? I don't know. There are so many possibilities. All right, guys, that's all the time I have for today's Taylor Swift Tuesday. I hope that you enjoyed this video. This week's video shout out goes to Gorgeous Godiva. They said, my favorite TV show is Stranger Things. Me too. I love Stranger Things. I'm so excited for the new season. When are they going to tell us when it's coming out already? God. If you want to do my next video shout out, make sure you're following me on all social media and go to my Instagram, comment on my most recent post, what you're dressing up as for Halloween. I want to know. I need some ideas. I have no idea what to be, so help me out. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to leave it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.